welcome back to the show. So tonight I'm joined on the sofa by Christopher Paul Jones and Joanne Jobson. Joanne has a terrible fear of dentists and Christopher is the therapist in Harley Street practicing in fears and phobias. He's doing some live work with Joanne tonight so we're just going to carry on straight away with Joanne with the positive plate and the, and the connection with you. Yeah okay so what I want you to do now is when you think about that childhood experience when you're 14. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See yeah. that? Negativity <laughs> straight away. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how strong is it? At the moment, yeah, a five or a six. A five or a six. Okay, mm -hmm. I want you to imagine going back to that time in your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, where is it? It's about an eight. About an eight. Okay. I'll you see can the see as well. Yeah. 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 A lot. Lot. You can move. Tell from body language. Right. I want. You, mm -hmm. Is it? Do you have an image there when you think about that? Yeah. Okay. What I want you to do is just imagine draining the colour out of the picture. I'm struggling with that one. Fine, great. Okay. Because it's so vivid for you. Yeah, fantastic. Right, look at me. Mm -hmm. What I want you to do is yep. focus on that event. Take the feelings and the sounds and all that. Okay, that's enough. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and what I want you to do is just take two fingers here yep. and just rub here. I can do it to you, but just I'd like yeah, to. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I just want you to do that. Mm hmm. And just focus on that feeling and those sounds as you do that. What I'm going to do as mm -hmm. you do that, you can do it gently, just, <laughs> just smoothly. And you can remember to breathe as well. You can breathe. <laughs> and you can yeah. laugh. But if the thing about if laughing is, of course, you might forget how to Feel. do the problem. Yeah. And then, yeah. then that would Well, then good. you're covering up, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can be. If, if, you're, if, you, if you. If you make someone laugh enough while they try and experience the past event, it can yeah. scramble it. I can feel. But focus on the. I'd like you to keep, keep doing the rubbing yeah. and just follow this pen. What I want you to do is just allow, and I will explain what I'm doing in a moment. Just keep focusing on that event as you do. And breathe deeply. What I want you to do is breathe in through your nose for five seconds, and then hold it, and then out for five seconds through your mouth. And what's this doing, Christopher? So what I'm doing there is getting, getting her, I'm doing two things at once, really, uh, in the interest of time. And if you just keep rubbing while I talk, basically, I'm getting to access the left and right quadrant of her brain while focusing on the emotion. And what that's doing is you're basically accessing mm -hmm. logic and, and uh, emotion at the same time, and eventually it reduces the oh, okay. impact. What we're doing here is a self-soothing mechanism. Yeah. So what this does is if you soothe yourself while trying to think of a past negative event, it kind of takes out the emotional charge. Where are you now? What's going on for you? Actually, it's quite difficult to, to focus on that whilst Brilliant. That's exactly what I want. Multitasking. That's exactly <laughs> right. That's what you want, right? <laughs> That's exactly what I want. But obviously don't smile because you might enjoy the experience. And, and then, then how could you be scared yeah, of... Yeah, I was going to uh, say, how could I possibly yeah, okay. be scared so of shake it, it off. Wait, think about yep. it now. Take a deep breath in. You're trying to confuse the brain. What's happening now? Scale of 1 to 10, where is it? I'm focusing on rubbing my temples. Okay. So try and find that that feeling you had 10 seconds ago about dentists. See, the eyes are narrowing, she's start already starting to struggle a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not as vivid. And actually, you can see her yeah. upper body has completely, you know, it's not prickled up mm. and it's not, you know, I thought, I thought Joanne was going to have a panic attack about <laughs> yes. three minutes ago. No, what I said, okay, really be with her, and she went, I was yeah. like, I oh, know, that's enough, that's enough. Because I can around <laughs> bag. But now, so where are you at? Scala, what's 10? Three, four. Oh, Three, wow, four. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, go back, take those feelings, take those sounds, take those experiences. From the dentist or from the relaxation? From the dentist, yeah. Okay. Because I, I want to make sure, because what I want to do is take out the charge here. So I want you to go back and try and fully experience it. It's my stomach. So yeah, focus on that. Put all your awareness on that. Yeah. And again, just do this. And actually, you can rub down the side of your face as well. But it's going yeah. lower. I can see it's going lower yeah. just from her often, body. And often that happens. People have tension here, and it kind of it's a physical yeah. thing. It moves around. Having been so hunched up, yeah. and it, it's moving. She's laughing while she's breathing. Is that a good thing? <laughs> and breathe in for your nose, and out for your mouth. And again, do you want to just but like, just follow the pen around? If you can, I know it's it's like patting your head and rubbing <laughs> your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> And what I want you to do, just, just to make it fun, I want you to hum your favourite uh, nursery rhyme to yourself oh. as you do that. 
your favourite nursery Professor rhyme. Rhyme. Okay, so the Benny Hill theme tune, I want you to play that <laughs> to yourself. I'll sing it. We should have had music. Or some circus music. Isn't that the Benny Hill one? I don't know the difference in fairness. Take a deep breath in. And again. And just put your awareness on that feeling for a second. Mm. And more relaxed. Yeah, stomach's still not yeah, yeah, quite. Yeah, yeah, it'll be a while. It'll be a while. Keep focusing on that. Yeah. Scale of one to 10, where, how strong is the feeling? In the stomach, about four or five. Four or five. Moment. And if you were to give it a color, and I know it sounds a bit new agey, what color would the feeling be? Green. Green. I want you to imagine it colored white now as you follow this pen. Just put all your awareness on that feeling. And if that feeling had a direction to it, a movement, does it have any kind of flow to it? It's circular. It's circular. Which way? Is it like that. Yeah. I want you to imagine it going in the opposite direction now. Imagine pulling it out of your body and make it go the other way while colouring it white. And as you do, just breathe deeply. Yep. So, what, so what's the significance of making this circular well, what, activity what happens in with stomach feelings? green? In what happens? Just, uh, do you carry on doing that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, and it's an emotion, not a thought, so you don't have to yeah. think your way to it. Just be with the feeling. What ha what's happening there is, is in order to feel a certain way, so like when we feel sick, we t often have an up feeling or we yeah. feel down. If we change the direction of that, imagine that turning upside down and changing it, we actually, so if we're tense, we actually go down. It, it's kind of right, changing okay. the, how the posh body is feeling it. And by getting her to l follow the light, wrap yeah. her temples, think um, of different colours, it's just... Yeah, it's all, it's all changing that, that experience. And I mean, one of the things is, what's happening for you now? I'm still trying to focus on trying to quell the stomach. Okay, so I don't want you to focus on it, I want you to feel it. That's the problem, you're trying to, you're, you're yeah, doing it from a place right. of here. Put, yeah. put, and that's the thing, what, very often when people have a, an emotion, they try and intellectualise their way out of the emotion. But emotions don't work on logic. We're well, trying so. to control it, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So you're so trying to think your way to safety rather than feel your way to. You've been controlling this for so long because that's what we do. Yeah. We control. So you've built up in your head that you've got a fear and your phobia, and now you're going to hold on to that. Yes. So, so you're trying to dilute that. Yes, exactly. And reconnect or so, disconnect. So put focus on that feeling, and actually, I will. If it's okay to touch you, yeah. Like just <laughs> haggling without losing my mind. Just focus on that feeling there. Just focus on that feeling. You've got really cold hands. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's good because the rest of me is spoiling. Uh, <laughs> and just focus on that feeling. Put all your awareness on that feeling. And imagine it coloured white. And just notice what would happen if you coloured Sorry, I'm banging the mic. Uh, coloured it white. And what are you doing now? So again, I'm, what I'm doing here is tapping different acupuncture points. which It's, it's the same as the soothing mechanism, basically. It's, it's more, um, it basically causes fair good causes people to change the, their experience, kind of relaxes them. And this Again, is EFT? This is, this is EFT or TFT or what, uh, what Meridian Tapping. What uh, Thought field therapy, um, emotional freedom technique, okay. um, other two, but they're all slight variations on the same theme, as is this. It's just a different variation yeah. on, on the thing. This is sometimes more relaxing for people, though. It just depends on how you, everyone processes slightly differently. Yeah, and while you're, while she's doing, while you're doing this to Joanne, what should yeah. she be thinking about releasing She's, that? I mean, she's I'm there. She, on that. <laughs> she's, she's well, there. If you can see from the eyes and the body language, she's, she's there. So I didn't need to say anything oh, to wow. her because you can often tell where someone is in the process just by their, their eye movements and how That's they're breathing. Amazing. Yeah, the stomach sensation's gone. How weird is that? I mean, how great Please? is that? <laughs> So I just need to get the dentist to tap me on the head while he's working <laughs> on me. Knock you on the head. So take a deep breath in. <sighs> Even then, the whole time she was visualising, when I said breathe, she was ma already making pictures of some, maybe preempting what I was about to ask. Um, so uh, we're just going to wrap up with the last couple of minutes. Oh, okay. So what would you then follow this through with? Well, I would, I would keep going till the first event. Um, w was down to a zero. Wh where is it now, by the way, would you say at the moment? It's actually really low. Fantastic. Because it was up in the eight. Yeah. So yeah. it's gone down. And then what I may do, depending on, sometimes that's significant enough to take it out in the future, and then I would deal with any other events mm. in her life where she's had this similar fear, similar things, scramble it, do different techniques. And so do you really feel, Joanne, because when you first came on, I could feel 
you've, you've, you just seem so much calmer. <laughs> yeah, like your shoulders are relaxed, your body has relaxed, even your face and the way you're laughing is more relaxed. Do you actually really feel that just in the short time that we've done this, so we were just trying to demonstrate what we could do mm -hmm. and how it's done, you really feel that this has worked? Yes. Some relaxation for you? Yeah. And how, when you next go to the dentist, will you deal with that? Uh, well, hopefully I can talk to Chris about some strategies to help me get, because I need to go to the dentist. If you do, if you haven't been for four years. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um, but yeah, the, just the, the stomach knotting has, has dissipated. Yeah, quite a lot. That's and that's, I think that's where it starts. Is that? And have you seen progress from when we started at the beginning? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, the definitely the... The, the body, body language has definitely opened up, and as we were starting to get to the end there, the, 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 uh, there was just much more softness in, in your face, the tension had started to go. Mm. Um, obviously the key is getting the person in that place when they go to the dentist, which, but if you take out, as I say, if you take out the trauma from the past, you, it tends to take mm. it in future. The only other thing is sometimes people have, also they've built up a fear of going, so not only a fear of the dentist, they've had so much anticipation, well. yeah, so that would be another phobia to take out. Well, I think it's been really interesting, seeing how you work and seeing how, you know, how quickly uh, we can move things along, and that's in just a short space of time. Imagine what you could do, you know, in a proper full session without the cameras and us all talking to you at the same time. Thank you very much to you, Chris, and thank You're you welcome. to you, Joanne, and good thank luck you. with thank your you. next dentist trip, <laughs> thank you. and I hope it goes well. Thank you very much. If you'd like any information on tonight's show, you can tweet us at That's Oxford, you can email talk at That's Oxford, TV, or you can call 01865 570100. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's show, and I'll see you again soon.